stem. The roots, leaves and flowers of a plant are all joined together by a stem. Plant stems usually grow thicker as the plant grows taller. Food and water travel up and down the stem to reach all parts of the plant. The stem usually pushes upwards towards the light. It holds the leaves out such that they can catch the sunlight. The way the leaves and flowers are exposed to the sun and insects is very important. Most plants have round stems, but some stems are square or rigid. The sunflower stem is very hairy. This is because insects don't like hairs, so they prevent them from landing on the plant and eating the leaves. The size of a plant stem depends on how many leaves and branches the plant has to support. A tall plant needs more support, so it has a thicker stem. Plants are classified on the basis of their stems. Trees are the biggest plants on earth. A tree stem is called a trunk. It has to be strong enough to hold up long branches full of leaves and sometimes fruit. Shrubs like lilac, hibiscus and golden shower have narrow but woody stems. These live for a few years. Herbs like grass, wheat, mint and coriander have small and soft stems. Some climbers like the money plant and grapevine have narrow and weak stems. They need support of trees or poles to climb. Creepers like pumpkin and watermelon plants have narrow and weak stems. These creep on the ground. They bear big and heavy fruits, so they cannot climb on a support. Some plants, like the pea, produce tendrils, which wrap themselves around the other stems. Typical stems are located above the ground, but there are modified stems that are grown below the ground. You are well aware of these stems since you eat them in your daily diet. Potatoes, garlic, ginger. Each stem is made up of a number of units joined end to end. A stem unit consists of a straight piece of stem known as an internode. Internodes join together at swollen areas called nodes. Leaves and buds are attached to the nodes. If a bud starts growing, it can form a side branch or a flowering stem. Axillary buds grow in the angles between the branches and the leaves or the main stem. Now look at this picture carefully. Note the scars on the twig of the tree. When leaves fall, they leave a scar on the bark. The distance between two girdle scars shows how much the twig has grown in one year?